Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at this Bell X1 and um, first plane to break the sound barrier and I went ahead and modeled this because it's um, not difficult to do and I want to see how fast it would take me to do this and um, so this is what I've done to it and the first thing I did you know I put my um, canvases in etc. Let's um, take a look at the canvases turn the bodies off Okay, I put the canvases in and went ahead and modeled it from these pictures here. And it was done using um, form, freeform modeling. And um, freeform modeling allowed me to do this pretty quick. I think um, I have maybe spent a total of three hours with this. And that's splitting up the bodies and everything, getting everything done inside also. And um, yeah, let's turn the bodies on. Turn the canvases off, and we'll go back to here. Let's turn the lines on, which is Control Six. Turn the lines back on. You can see I split this up already too, to 3D print. And the first thing I did was um, did the um, the body here, and as you can see, I used three forms to do this: the top, the middle, and the bottom inside of here and um, once I did this you know got the shape that I wanted with this then I went ahead and turned this all into a solid and once it was turned into a solid then I split everything up so let's roll back here take a look doing the wing there And that's the top, and the middle section, and the bottom, as you can see there. Then that tail in the back, horizontal stab. And then split that from the fuselage. Then began to split everything up. And a canopy, making it clear. Then each section making it clear, then putting formers inside there, the front there. Then putting former there in a the second. Um, Fuselage there, second portion. Then working up there on the top with the um, hatch, the little latch for the hatch at the top there. Then split the um, rest of the plane up and hollowing it out. And doing the other side of the wings. And more splitting there and hollowing them, um, the sections out. And that was it, how um, I did the whole thing there. And we have this. So we turn off this um, canopy here. So we'll come over here to the bodies. Take a look down the side of this and turn off the nose. And that's what it looks like down the side of there. Now I didn't put um, these formers <coughs> on some of these um, back here. And the um, reason I didn't do that is because it really doesn't need it because there's going to be a carbon fiber rod that goes through here. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to, if you don't have carbon fiber rods, you know, if you need really long rods, how to um, somehow make them. I watched the uh, video of um, this one channel, or actually on, actually on Facebook, how they make um, 
the wings, like four meter, five meter, um, you know, gliders, and they, they how they do the construction for the wings, and they're all three D printed planes. And um, I'll show you guys how to do that in an upcoming video. How they do that? It's very, um, it's very ingenious. Again, um, every like I say, every time I purchase somebody's files um, um, for their airplanes and stuff like that, I always learn something new um, from them. So yeah. So I'll be showing you guys that in the future. But anyway, this is this plane here. And again, it didn't take long to do. Like I said, I maybe have three hours into um, the CAD work on this, and I went ahead and printed it. And it probably took about uh, 15 hours to print so far. And um, yeah. And if you're going to make this um, scale, I believe this opening back here is like 50 millimeters. And if you're going to make this scale, um, or um, this will require um, a small EDF, like a 50 millimeter or, um, you know, a 54, 55 millimeter EDF. And this plane is roughly, I believe it's 1.1 um, meters long or one meter long. I don't remember um, what size it is. So if you put something in here like a 64 millimeter EDF, you may just happen to open up this um area in the back just a little bigger to accommodate the um, the exhaust for it. If you put a 70 millimeter EDF in, it, in here, you're going to um, open this up a little more. So it won't be at scale, but it'll be scale-ish when you do that. And um, that's no problem. So let's go ahead and have a look at the actual model now. Let me turn these things back on first, the nose and the canopy. Okay. So this is what we have. And I'll turn the lines back off again. And that's just control four. Now we don't have the lines um, again, and here we are. So yeah, so now let's have a look at the 3D printed airplane. Okay, here we have the model 3D printed, and looks pretty good. It's bigger than I thought it would be. And something this size, in my mind, um, should be powered with a 70 millimeter fan. And if I put a 70 millimeter fan in here in the back, um, the exhaust will not be as scale. But that's no problem. Um, I just need to open that up a little in the back to get that um, um, exhaust right for a 70 millimeter fan. And let's take a look. See down the side of there? inside there and canopy now this model here um, okay, I think it took me about three hours to do all the modeling of this and it took me about 15 hours to print this so not um, a long time for this. So doing these little models like this, they're quick, easy to do. And um, if you put a proper airfoil on them, they'll, they should fly fine if you get the CG correct and everything. So if you um, want to learn how to model these things like this fast, just watch my videos and I'll show you how to model all this type of stuff. And like I said, this doesn't take long and um, like um, I said on uh, my last video, I learned a lot every time I buy um, STL files of other people's airplanes and stuff like that, like this here. I didn't even have to work at uh, modeling a former inside of here. I just used the infill and um, using the infill, there's um, um, formers that go all the way through here and there's only three. So um, this stays pretty light as it is. I didn't have to model that stuff in this and the, um, the tail and everything. So yeah, it's um, this is actually a good looking model in my opinion, um, the way it came out and everything. And it, like I said, it's a lot bigger than I expected it to be um, because uh, when I'm modeling, I only see it you know, in two dimensions and it doesn't look very big. And even though this is only, um, I believe I, 
model this as 1100 millimeters, 1.1 meters. I don't remember. I know it's um, larger than um, one meter. It's either one meter or just a little larger. So yeah, but things like this, again, not difficult to do. It's rather simple. And if you're new to Fusion 360 and you want to model um, airplanes and jets and stuff like that, and I would suggest modeling this as your first model because this is very simple it, um, to do. And since it's round, there's, you know, there's not much shaping to it. The hardest thing to do was just to get this top up here and this bottom shape. And, um, but again, that's still simple to do too. You'll just spend uh, more time doing those. You'll get the center shape pretty quick. And then this top up here and then the bottom here. And then um, like I did here, this is all um, um, the blended in here. So it sweeps up all like that. So yeah. So yeah, this is a um, pretty good looking model. I like this. But anyway, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like my videos, hit that like button as well. And um, also I invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon site, both are called Cadbill Flyer C. Go over there, have a look at things. And, um, and there's a lot of people there who will help you if you need help. And I help out um, over there when I have the time to. I'm always um, looking and if um, I could just answer the questions right away, I'll just answer the question for you or even show you how to do it. And um, if you're able, join my Patreon site, be a pay, uh, paying member over there, and you'll get the files for everything I show you guys on my channel, the, um, all the files. And um, if you need help modeling an airplane, um, um, I can help you model an airplane too. Or um, if you just have some questions or something like that, just go ahead and leave a question over there or over on my... Um, Facebook group also, and like I said, both are called Cab Bill Fly RC. And um, yeah, but uh, oh, also this is printed with um, Polymaker's um, PLA, just a strictly PLA on here. And to um, be honest, this is pretty light. Um, it's not heavy at all. So if I printed this with lightweight PLA, if I used the, um, um, the Polylite, this would be 20% lighter. And if I use uh, the, um, the foaming, lightweight PLA, PLA, this would be uh, 50 to 60% lighter than what it is, but this is already pretty light. And um, if I were gonna um, build this up, I'd probably just use regular PLA because this is still pretty light um, as it is. But yeah, so that's gonna do it for this video. And I hope you guys enjoy my channel and all the stuff that I show you guys how to do. And if you have any questions or anything, again, just leave them down in the comments or uh, over on my two groups. So yeah. But um, that's going to do it, and we'll t uh, catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.